much. Let's hope they get going on that. Now, they used to shout at squaddies. Now they're helping to boost the confidence of school children. A team of former service personnel have spent the day with pupils in Basingstoke, teaching them outdoor survival skills in a scheme that's been given more money by the government. So it was out of the classroom and into Popley Woods. Anna Miller tagged along. Today's lesson is about building confidence. Jake, Emma, yes, sir. Simon. Yes, sir. Once a week, ex-service personnel get these children outdoors to learn new skills. The Surrey-based charity CVQO funds it. Today, what they're learning is how to put up a tent. You might say, well, what's the use of that? Well, actually, what they're learning is that with more than one person putting it up, as a team, you'll put up a better tent. You're having to get used to working with other people, which you do in real life. And, and that in itself, I think, is what makes it worthwhile for them. In the woods, all the pupils have found their voice. But during school time, some are quiet, disengaged and falling behind. Others, like Connor, need a little extra motivation to get them ready for their GCSEs next year. What, what's Connor like in the classroom when he's not here? Mm, quite loud, yeah, quite disruptive. It helps me like try to kind of, um, concentrate more because it's not all about like me. I don't like speaking out in front of people, but this is different because I know everyone here and it's an opportunity to like build confidence. I'm quite quiet in like class, so it will help me be able to talk to different people and actually like express myself. They feel the difference, but their headmaster sees the difference this programme makes. It's so important for them to experience something outside of their comfort zone and this really gives them that opportunity to be resourceful, resilient and really take some risks in life. Last year, 25 children completed the programme and they were able to take home a qualification of a BTEC 1 in personal skills and citizenship. But for some other children across the country, that's the only qualification they'll ever leave school with. Everyone today has achieved something and it's that sense of building on success that the charity hope they'll continue to cherish. Enna Miller, BBC South Today. Really good idea, that. Let's hope it wasn't pouring down with rain for them throughout the day. Absolutely. Alexis is here. Let's, um, let's hear the worst then and the best. Yeah, a few showers got going today, but over the weekend,